Hey everyone, Jose here. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to talk to you about Longaberry Pottery. And uh, I'm going to add a little marketing twist of a lesson in there. And it's five ways that you can succeed in any niche market. And I'm using Longaberry Pottery as an example, which is uh, it's, it's a very narrow market. So let's get into it right away. So strategy number one that you can use in a niche market is to be the niche. So what do I mean by that? If you can describe your ideal customer and that description happens to fit you as a person, then you, you've got a, a unique advantage because that means that you're probably an ideal customer yourself and that means you'll be able to understand the needs and the wants of your ideal customer. So if you happen to be in that niche and you love pottery yourself, it'll make it that much easier. Strategy number two, if you, if you can't be the niche, then at least know the niche. So that means be as knowledgeable as you can about the product, the market, the company that you're representing, and that will equally give you a big edge. Now, strategy number three is when you're in a niche market, you do want to do some some upselling. So in this case, with Longaberry Pottery, uh, they have an extensive catalog as well. They sell baskets and tablecloths and a lot of other things. So what I would do is focus on the, the best selling or the most popular pottery item to get people in the door and then start focusing on upselling as well. And what this will do is bring additional income streams into your business. Number four, what you want to do is very important. You want to do cross marketing. So what do I mean by cross marketing, try to think of what other interests and likes do people or your customers who are interested in pottery, what are they going to like? So for example, if you have a pottery dish for pies, maybe you can cross market a recipe book or an ebook for, for baking pies or anything kitchen, kitchen related or baking, all very similar and very likely uh, for those customers to be inclined to be interested in those things as well. So again, just bringing more options, more potential income streams into your business. And finally, number five, if you're specifically prospecting Longaberry Pottery, you'll notice that they have, they do suggest that you can do home parties, but I highly, highly recommend that you take them up on the e-business offer where they set you up with an actual website. And for reasons that we won't get into in this video, uh, you will have much better opportunity and much more leverage to succeed if you're set up online. And I can actually coach you personally along with my wife uh, all you need to do is subscribe to our marketing newsletter and you'll receive tips and advice as to how you can uh, succeed in niche markets such as Longaberry Pottery. So just go ahead and follow the link that you're going to see in the corner of this video and we will send that off to you right away. Okay, thanks for watching.